Hey guys, welcome back. And today we have a new Clash Royale update. And it's going to look, from what I've heard, like level 14 and stuff. It looks to me like it'll be a pretty nice update. But today we got an official TV Royale. Haven't actually watched it yet. But uh, yeah, we're going to watch it here. And I'll give you guys my first and honest reaction here to this new update, guys. I'm actually kind of excited because, uh, yeah, I mean... Let's be honest, I haven't really been playing Clash Royale that much until the Slash Royale event this last weekend. Got tons and tons of gold, upgraded tons of cards to max, and then got tons of star skins and stuff. So I've just been having fun with Clash Royale because of that. Uh, but hopefully this new update will have some new content so I can play more Clash Royale going forward. And uh, not this just not be a temporary thing, you know. But anyways guys, without any further ado, let's get into the video. 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, so a little animation to start. Recruits going on a quest. I think those are the new heroes. I've heard about the heroes, but I have no idea what exactly they do. Okay. So it's like, um, I think that's a golden knight. Archer queen. Let's go. I'm, I wonder if they'll have, um... Uh, I wonder if they'll have like skins like in Clash of Clans, you know, uh, and like give them to um, these heroes. Skeleton King, no Barbarian King, but Skeleton King, all right. Interesting. And I think it's good that they're not using the Clash of Clans heroes because like Clash Royale's got to make a name for themselves, you know. So he's like at champions. Death captions on. Hello, I'm Rick. All right. I'm Max, and welcome to TV new community Royale. managers. We're super excited to tell you what the team has been working on for this update. Absolutely. That's a great accent. The team's focus for this year has all been about player progression, and with the yeah. addition of magic items, adding more gold to the economy, and even now with Slash Royale half price discounts going on, Clash yeah. Royale has. Those are the highlights of the year. Fantastic 2021. Level yeah. 14 is finally coming to give those players yes. something to chase for, as well as more content right. for players that have not maxed out. Max yet. Let's not waste any time and get into the details. For Thank you. you. I appreciate you not wasting my so time. With progression being a major focus for us, one thing we've done in this update is reduce the amount of experience needed to upgrade your king's level from uh, 10 to 10. Okay. We've also right. created the king's journey, okay. which helps showcase a player's progression to see what we'll unlock on their journey to level 14. Sorry, I guess I'm like cool rewards though max yes of course rick every time you reach a new king level okay. you will unlock yeah. a new level of chest that will give rewards such as cards gold wait 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 i gotta pause that go back all right so that's like the basic stuff like clan trade we already um get this stuff this is stuff this is nothing some, new like, these rewards, rewards are here max Yes, of course. But the level up chest. Every time you reach a new king level, level 14. You a new level up chest that will give rewards such as cards, gold. 12,000 gold. Okay, I thought it was 120,000. Just had to make sure. Just had to make sure. So am I only going to get like one chest? Uh, don't worry. Once the update drops, we will give you all the chests from previous. All right, game. good. My man. And also, yes. players that have been at level 13 for a while, you've been accumulating experience in the background when upgrading and donating cards. Oh, so you have a nice little boost. Once that is a cool upgrade. And now that we have level okay. 14 cards, you have to be level 14 to get champions. To reduce the amount of gold and the number of cards needed to upgrade them from levels 11 oh. to 13, which so you get star skins at level 11. Amazing thing. Oh, star, star points. points. What's gonna yeah, happen? What's happening to star points? Well, yeah. We've now separate the star points from king level. Oh. 13. What does that mean? Do you, do you work here? Yeah. Basically, star points used to be tied to level 13, but now all players mm -hmm. will now obtain them from the beginning of the Clash Royale journey by what? either upgrading or donating cards. <laughs> to see how many Come star on. points you have, you can simply tap the experience bar okay. to switch between seeing your experience points and star points. And you can start spending your star points once you reach king level six. That's great. Unlock star level one with cards at level seven. Star level two with cards at level ten. And finally, star level three is available from card level thirty. Dude, this isn't bad. Reduce this is actually really solid. Needed to upgrade the first two star levels. So many things reduced. Super cool. Yeah, but we've got something even cooler. Champions. 
Okay. Yep. You've seen it, you know it. Level 14 looks great, and the star the points look great. Yes, indeed. How are the champions, champions gonna do? Are a brand new rarity that unlocks at King level 14, and mm -hmm. we have three of them. Each three? champion also comes with its own special ability. Oh. Our first new okay. champion is the Arch Queen. Like in Brawl Stars? She has the lowest hit points out of all three of the champions, but can target enemies on the ground and air using her crossbow. Her ability is called the Cloaking Cape. Which turns okay. her invisible and she'll shoot her arrows faster, causing extreme damage. This champion like is in, uh, Clash my Clans. favorite, the Golden Knight. All right. Not only does he have the definitely looks the best, but with a decent amount of hit points and fast attack, he can right, really help good. out in sticky situations. His ability is called Dashing Dash, which makes him rush towards his enemies and chain attack multiple targets wow. along the way. That is that looks right, really good. He can even make it to the towers, really causing damage. And finally, I'm just wondering how this will change the meta, King of the if it will at all. His club can do some heavy damage to I think they'll just be like normal cards except for the ability. The I think that's basically it. Soul. What for yeah. you ask? Well, for his soul summoning ability, which allows him to bring back the dead. The more souls he collects, the more skeletons will join him in the fight. To activate any of the champion's abilities, you need collect to tap souls? the ability button located just above your card deck. That is a super sure button! Make sure time it right, as they cost Elixir and will be on cooldown yeah. for some time after. And these champions okay. are so unique that you can only have one in your deck, and you All can right, only that's have fair. one deploy at end time. That means okay. when you've deployed a champion, it's you know what? I'll take out it. of your card cycle until it's destroyed. Champions oh. will need to be upgraded so you can't cycle as any other cards in the game, and when you unlock one, they start from level 11. So you can't get them out Bringing chess. champions into Clash Royale changes the game in ways we've never seen before. That is true. We're excited to see how you will use them and the new strategies okay, that will emerge. Okay, just checking. We, we heard you. You need gold. We but always need gold. Again, always weak. So to yes. help, we've added more gold rates <laughs> into the chess cycle, and we've now made them available for King Level 10. Legendary cards will now drop from chests more frequently. Cool. I don't really yeah. need legendaries. You know what else I is mean, cool, maybe I don't know. We've also made a new chest called the Royal Wild Chest. Oh, nice. The, what That's just a level up chest. Not much. Uh, wild cards, gold, and a guaranteed champion. Oh. Yeah. For those players at King Level 14, you'll get a champion yeah. every time you find one of these chests, along with those other cool rewards. Oh, so it's probably in the chest that, rotation, like silver gold chest. chest. On the free side of Pass Royal. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute madness. What? We have some cool quality of life improvements coming with this update. For example, when your clan mates no purchase pass well, you'll receive more gold depending on your king level. Are they trying to spoil us? Now made it easier for you to rearrange your cards in your collection decks by holding down on them to move them around. Wow. You can now finally copy decks directly from the battle log and TV royal to get straight back in Yeah, the that could have been added years this ago. They didn't need big one to wait till now. But. We're changing the way challenges and tournaments will work to make it all about a player's skill rather than the card levels they have. That's right. From now on, like when that? you participate in a challenge or a tournament, all players will have level 11 cards. Level so 11? That's a new term, it's a... Yeah, know that champions have arrived. We thought it would be wise to move the gap up. And because of this, we've also made changes to how you play global tournaments, classic, and grand challenges. Okay. Yes, indeed. Playing these mods now will allow you to build a deck with any cards in the game, even the ones you haven't unlocked, including the brand new champions. Even if okay. you're not max level? Yes, you will now have access to every card in the game. Now, that, that'll be interesting. Epic. Yeah, We're super for sure. excited for you guys to get your hands on the update, which will be arriving very soon. Yeah, so enjoy the rest of Slash Royale. Make sure you upgrade as many cards as possible to get those experience okay. points. And until next time, see, see you, you in the, the arena. arena. We've also made changes to how you play global to- Oh my god. Alright, that's it. Alright guys. <laughs> That was a lot. Um, champions, level 14, new chest, easier, more gold, easier ways to get legendaries and stuff. This is looking to be a pretty good update. I'm actually pretty excited. I don't think there's ever been a Clash Royale update in the last year, few years I've ever been excited this much excited about. There have been like, I don't know, just a lot of mediocre stuff. You know, we've had Clan Wars 2, Clan Wars 1 uh the battle pass update you know just a few mediocre updates like once per year this is a great update and i don't know it took them five years to get here and like a few different teams because obviously these aren't the same guys 
as we had a year ago. But we're here. I feel like if this update goes well, I'll be posting lots more Clash Royale content on the channel. Brawl Stars isn't really going to go anywhere, I don't think, but Clash Royale content will become more of a thing on my channel if this update has fun, um, if I have fun with this update. All depends on how good it is, though. And I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments section below. Um, but yeah, uh, that I think I'll have to do it, guys. I mean, yeah, let me know what you think. There's a lot in this update. Probably like more than like the last four years combined. So uh, yeah, I think I'll do it. And until next time, don't ask why I find out how.